Hello there. Today on Planet Crafter, we're going to give you a review of the uh, new Humble DLC. Uh, so we have a new planet to terraform and explore, and I'll give you the rundown of what to expect for this and see if this uh, DLC is worth it for you because uh, you want something new. You, all, you have a new world to explore and a new terraforming thing is going on there. So uh, there's a whole new system on that. Well, it's not really a whole new system. It, it seems like a whole new system because uh, the terrain over here, for example, was flat. It gets dug out there and waterfalls digging out there for the underground caves. And over here, the zeolite pops up out of the ground. Those crystals pop up out of the ground, too. And then, you know, the forest springs up there. Well, we see the forest spring up there, so that's nothing new on that. Uh, you know, the mushroom zones uh, for the sulfur looks neat uh, for that over there. You know, different fire pits is kind of neat. Uh, this whole area over here is covered in uh, poisonous smoke, and you can't get over there until it's unlocked for yourself, right? So you get the terraforming up. Then you have a whole beach system uh, to go on there and take a look. And the, the mushrooms start expanding for the mushroom forest right here. That's what that is, uh, basically. And that's where you start and uh but uh, yeah let's take an overview of the map and see what you're getting into it's a small map uh the maximum zoom covers the whole map so this is the, the whole map uh these are where the resources are in this game um and the resources are done just a little bit differently but not too much it's just uh we have the uh, white resource and then the, the reddish brown one and the black one that's what i call them and then you have to crush them with the crusher uh so yeah just take a screenshot of that if you're going to play that and then get over here to the crusher so there's three different levels of the crushers uh three ores uh four ores and then five ores out of the pool of five uh, maximum. So uh, when you want to start crushing stuff, like, you know, you crush the white ore, for example, you start getting cobalt. There's no cobalt on the ground to find. Uh, so that's the only way to get cobalt in this game is chests and uh, crushing that white ore uh, with a crusher. So that's what one of the first things you're going to do is get that unlocked and start crushing that to get your cobalt to build stuff. And then it's going to be uh, your aluminum. And you know, you're going to have to crush that reddish ore right there. That's going to be your medium ore. You crush that, you get aluminum and a couple of the other ores out of it, the regular basic ore. So the white ore is the trash ores and uh, the other one is just basically aluminum and trash ores and then the black one is going to be the best one you need a t2 miner to mine that guy and then once you get those ones there that one gives you the good stuff like it's five drops out of uh, well, four of them are good well actually no three of them are only good the rest the rest suck uh, but it does drop your uranium and your iridium and it drops your your uh, you know super alloy uh the other drops is the white ore and uh, iron so yeah that's why they're crappy just a uh, white ore and iron so you don't need to mine the white ore you only need a couple of the uh, red ore uh, the that's why I can't say it, right? The, the, the well, Buxite. <laughs> That's how you say it. Buxite, I think, right? Uh, so, yeah, the Buxite. I should try and remember these names, but I really don't care. I just refer to them as red, white, and black uh, for the ores. Uh, you know, your, or just uh, uranium. Uh, or iridium, right? You know, that's where you get the iridium and the uranium. The black one and the aluminum. So that's all the replacements are the crusher. Uh, the crusher can also crush other things uh, like a deconstructor can do. Um, uh, but so yeah, just be uh, aware of that. You know, you can start crushing your larva and your fish eggs if you want. Uh, a little bit of storm going up in there. But yes, we'll take a look at the map. Best base location where the water is. Uh, there's nothing uh, much going on in this game for uh, complexity. Um, uh, after this stuff gets, uh, you know, terraformed, you can go underground. There's just a little bit of underground area covering this area that's like your underground area it's like you know half the map has like an underground passages and stuff like that so you get a little bit more to explore uh with that but it's it, there's nothing much down there it's just you get down there and then you're like okay well what i get my trade ship rocket recipe yeah because that's how you have to find it in this game you got to find the recipe and that's where it is so yeah now that the storm is gone we can take a look at all the uh, train a little bit better uh the only other thing on there is those uh bee eggs i just call them like brown eggs because that's what they look like uh, they're covered in, they're basically stoned and once you get terraformed up high enough they turn into the uh, uh, crystals and you crush those to get the uh, different colored quartz crystals so yeah they use that to get the, all these different pulsar quartz and the other quartz uh colors off of them but then you know the maximum crusher is just five and there's a lot more drops than just five out of those uh, eggs because you get other things besides quartz out of them too so but anyways um yeah you know, you know, the, uh, the sulfur is over there uh, and then past that over there somewhere is going to be uh, the obsidian and the uh osmium is right over there to mine and of course, you you know that zeolite's right there. So yeah, it's not too bad on that. It's very simple and uh, easy to uh, accomplish all the exploring because uh, there's nothing much going on there. There's the the one big wreck. If you're interested in that kind of stuff like I am, uh, there's just one. Uh, that's that's not enough. One is never good good enough. 
uh, right? And uh, the uh, uh, medium wreck, a uh, small wreck right over here. There's one small wreck, one medium wreck, and one bunker, which is right down this pathway right here. So uh, once these ice walls are done, you come down through here, and then you just hug the right-hand side, and then I guess straight over here a little bit, you'll be able to see the bunker. It's right out in the open. And if you go a little bit farther to the right-hand side, you come to a cliff area, and then down there uh, on the bottom of the cliff, once all that poisonous gas is gone, you'll be, you'll be able to see the trade ship rocket uh, down there and get the recipe off of that. Um, you know, there's three of them down there. There's, they're all over the place on that thing, you know. Up the, those things you open up a little the little drone the rocket itself and the uh, platform has a little uh, chest on there that has the uh, recipe inside so uh, they want to make sure that it, once you get to that area you, you actually get them so uh, there you go um, stacking mod very helpful in this game uh, the, the uh, car in this game useless uh, utterly useless uh, you know it's, it's it's way too slow it's way too bulky um, and it's just it's in the train is all like look how steep those hills are and water and all this you know you can fit a big a big car run through here it's, it's too big it's got to be half the size it's got to be twice as fast and twice as agile uh, to be useful then they it needs rocket boosters and jumps and stuff like that for itself right uh, you know just to make it fun and useful it's, it's just that's just not it's just piss poor design in my opinion uh, for that um, it's just like you threw it in there for a gimmick and i hate gimmicks uh, so there you go uh, that is what this game is you get in this game uh the terraform experience the ending there is no ending in this game uh you get you get done you get an email we'll, we'll pick you up in a couple years because i'm gonna spoil that for you because it's just uh, it's just out of crap uh secrets uh found no golden chests in this game uh no other uh, uh secrets uh whatsoever so yeah there has been no major secrets in this game uh or anything like that that i found there, there could be some uh but with how basic and simple everything is like you know the ice crystals are only over here and uh, a little bit over there on the map so yeah there's no ice crystals everywhere over here it seems like they think okay we have a couple ores over there and that's all we're gonna do like, again we're done we got you know there's like two ores over here uh, okay that's good enough we just did two or i'm gonna do a three or four that's that's about it even though there's like you know a whole bunch of them uh that's about it there's no nothing to explode and and to find new pathways you only explode geo geodes and uh to get some resources out of there uh which could be useful because you can get rods out of them you know it's, it's a random chance you might get a rod or it could be fixed on the geo but you get lots of mini explosives out of the chest in this game so you get lots of these explosives uh free so and then you can always deconstruct them if you don't care and you want to get some rocket fuel or whatever they need to make them for yourself uh, but there you have it uh that is what this game is all about there is uh, still some other things in there there is some wildlife um on here too that will naturally spawn once you get to the animal age uh so like where are we this is like the base location so up over here where this where you can actually mine that silicone we never will uh, but up here you know there's some like a uh, goat type guys over there you can go over there and uh, pet them and get their uh, dna off of them and underneath here uh where you go get this uh, black ore you know this pathway right here you take uh yeah underneath there there's a uh, there's some guys walking around down over there and now on the beach down there there's some more guys you can down there and pet and get some uh, stuff off of there so there's animals you can go in there and see for yourself too in this map so they covered that at least uh, but uh yeah as an overall uh you know a pick for you to actually pay for this dlc if you're a fan of this game and you want to play a new map it'd probably be worth it to you but don't expect too much from these guys uh on their map it's not perfect uh, lots of the stuff is floating in the air there are things uh, places where you can pitfall and fall down and die and get trapped and all that kind of stuff because of the bad terrain and the way they did the maps it's, it's you know it's, it's a half-assed job a quick half-assed job to pump it out faster that's why there's that's why i don't think there's any secrets or golden chest because that would take some time and uh, some uh, foresight and it's much easier to uh, pay some person in some other foreign country to do a shitty job on the maps and stuff like that so yeah there you go uh for that so it seems pretty cheap on that experience myself uh but you know the train modifying is i found was neat so it's a little bit different and neat uh for the, this planet crafter style like you know it, the train changes nor normally in most of the stuff but you know big changes where the, the that zeolite grows and pops up and the big things in there so you got this whole flat area gets sunk right down there and all those big crystals pop up and stuff like that is kind of neat and the, you know, the basic stuff like the fog that's appearing uh town the beach is that that's 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 what you expect the simple stuff but the uh, the graphically uh, pleasing stuff is a little bit better uh, on this compared to the original uh but as for depth uh, the only thing you're doing different in this game is for crafting and stuff like that is uh using the crushers and the drones don't work on the output right now so that really sucks um uh, but uh you know they'll fix that uh hopefully because uh, that seems pretty bad but you know you know the drones don't pick up anything out of the output which is <laughs> it's stupid uh but uh, yeah since it's a you know it's a complicated machine i guess because it has an input chest and an output chest so i guess that's too complicated for them to figure out how to get uh, drones to work right out of, the, out of the bat and they gotta pump it out pump it out uh yeah pump it up before you get drones working on something simple like taking stuff out of a chest uh which you know the game already does 
<laughs> I, I don't know. Uh, but uh, yeah, that's what you can expect. And that's uh, the cheapness that uh, you're going to have to endure if you're going to want to buy this game, uh, this uh, DLC, basically. Uh, so it's up to you, obviously, if you're going to uh, play it or not. Um, yeah, me, I would be on the fence about it. Uh, it was it was decent enough, uh, but there's no reason to come back and play it again. There's no new challenge uh, to it. It's just uh, extra steps on crushing your ores. And... Uh, uh, that's about it. Smaller map to explore. Um, I would uh, like if it had some secrets to find. I would like it better. Uh, that would make a big difference. Is actually having secrets and chests and and, th and things to find and explore and hidden areas which you can go there and get something special out of them uh, that you don't really need for your terraforming and have a goddamn ending. Uh, that is just uh, damn. You got to have like an ending uh, and something to do after that. Uh, you know to make it more playable and stuff like that. So you have a reason to come back to it. Uh, without a reason to come back to it, it's going to lose marks. You know. Uh, on that you know i would say like a five out of ten for uh for efforts basically right on this but uh there you have it it looks nice uh at least uh, nothing up there by the way don't bother I've, I've been up there nothing there uh so uh there you go thanks for watching and i will see you later